Thank you. Common sight and sound this time of year. The bell ringers are spread all over the upstate. They collect donations for the Salvation Army. But this season of giving has not been as successful in, as it has been in past years. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford shows us why the donations have been down and what that means for the agency next year. I bust that Merry Christmas, sir. Rain or shine. Up oh, and you get door for elderly. You'll see someone oh, ringing wow. a bell at the Salvation Army's red kettles. Each one with a different story. I was homeless for about three months. And a different reason for wanting to give back. Do it for the people that had no shelter, had no food, had no Christmas gifts. And Each donation helps the Salvation Army stay up and running. And when people give to the red kettles, all that money stays in Anderson. The money isn't just for the holidays, but year round. It goes to shelters, uh, kids for clothes, uh, um, food, and all that stuff. But this year, the rain just won't stop impacting donations. The Anderson chapter says they're about $10,000 below the goal. Spartanburg, $15,000 with just four days to go. Our shelter is open 365 days a year. Uh, all the services that we give, we're there every single day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Our buildings are open. So we don't ever close at the Salvation Army. There's never a time that we do close, and we need that support to make sure that we're able to give those services. So as the season of giving begins to wrap up, these bell ringers will still be out, rain or shine, in the hope they reach their goal. But the more we get, the more, the more it helps people. In Anderson, Nicole Ford. Merry Christmas! 7 News. It's a pretty fantastic dance, right? Uh, the kettles will, won't be out after Christmas Eve, but of course you can still make a donation to your local Salvation Army. If you want to get it on this year's taxes, you can do it all the way through December 31st. You'll find all the details at WSPA.com.